Hello friends, Box Van D here. You'll notice the lighting up there. I kind of looks like I have icicles, but it's because of all the reflectors around the trailer. Because I have to block the heat out. It's still getting up to 115 degrees in the daytime. Almost every day, 113 to 115. It's going to have a few more really hot days this month. And a little part of September. And then it'll start cooling down. Anyhow, today I'm wearing this t-shirt. It just says, what's up with that? This is a... Prize giveaway from Mel and Nettie, Living Free Zip Code List, on one of their live streams I wanted, so I like it. So, I thought I'd tell you about their channel a little bit. They have good travel channel. They're full-time RVers, and they share their journey. They share some DIYs. Uh, Mel's quite a jokester. He's always doing this comment, what's up with that? So it does a lot of little shorts. They do live streams and you might enjoy their channel. And if you like travel content, things like that, they're very fun. So go check out their channel. Tell them I send you and make a comment that's meaningful. That's how they know people appreciate them. So make a co meaningful comment. So thank you so much. Anyhow. Today, I would like to tell you what we are going to be doing. I'm going to try to keep the shadow out, but I can't guarantee it. Well, I never point the right direction. Anyhow, today, I would like to share how I put together a lagoon table for an RV. It's different than a, like a van or a small space with a bench seats and things like that. So... In an RV, you have to put it on a wall, unless you have a box, I don't know, something. In an RV, you usually have a um, corner group or like a bench seat, and it'll sit, the post for the leg sits on the front of the uh, box seat. So there's nothing behind it. So it can raise up and down easily. If there's a wall behind it, it keeps them from being able to spin and turn and do all the different things you could do with a lagoon table. But I wanted one because I needed a desk because I'm always sitting on the couch doing videos and I needed something to do it right there. So it would be the right level and I can move it around a little bit. So I'm showing you today how I put together my lagoon table, a little bit about it. And I'm also going to be sharing a few projects I will be working on in the near future. I will not be traveling a whole lot this summer, I mean this winter. I will be going to the Ironwood Meetup in February. And you want to know about that, check out Desert Adventures in Arizona, his channel. He'll tell you all about that. Um, and ask him in your comment section. When you want, if you want to know more about that or watch the videos that he puts out. So there's two shout outs Mel and Nettie's Living Free Zip Codelets and Desert Adventures in Arizona. So I hope you watch the entire video today because I need to keep up with my watch hours and the likes and all the comments and things because YouTube bases. Whether they want to show your videos on YouTube in your, when people go to their channel, they have suggested videos. The more you watch, the better chance I have of other people seeing my videos. So I appreciate your help. I can't do this without you. I know people think because I have so many uh, subscribers that I'm all set, but even bigger channels need help. They need to have people watching their videos. So maybe I'm boring. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I am. Especially since I'm not traveling much. But I'm still putting out projects. So just I appreciate you. And I will be. I've been working on another song. But it's going to take a little while longer. I'm really trying to get it right. And 
have to get all the things that I do before I put it out on YouTube. Um, so you can look forward to that. I'm sure I will have a song out uh, with the ne next few months. So anyhow, um, and I will probably be make a couple trips to somewhere in California. I cannot drive all the way to Oregon. I would love to go to Missouri to see Johnny's Journey's new new home and all the things she's doing up there, but I just can't take, I can't do the trip. I want to keep you posted with good, in, inspirational, informative videos that motivate you to know you can do pretty much anything, even as you get older. Even if you're stuck in an RV park like I am, <laughs> I can get out. I can still camp in my box truck a little bit, and I will. So, anyhow, here we go. So, this is a section above my um, cereal system in the uh, entertainment center. And in here, I had a television. And I never watched TV, and it was very old and outdated. I couldn't hook up a fire stick or uh, any kind of an app through HDMI. I was able to watch DVDs, but they were not very clear on the TV. It was very old and outdated. So I didn't have cable and never watched TV anyhow. If I really wanted to, I could watch it in the bedroom and buy a little TV for there. But I don't use it, so I have all this wasted space. So I was thinking about what I could do. Let me share with you what I think. So this is a kitchen area. Every cupboard. I redid these shelves up here. So I can have all my storage containers that I use all the time and like quart jars of food and things are up in here. I had to redo that shelf because I couldn't get to it. Still can't get to it without a step stool, but I have a lot of room there, but no room for spices because that's where I keep my cups and things I need to get to all the time. So down here. I built these, I installed, I should say, installed these spice racks on the wall. The problem is, let me show you what the problem is. The problem is, I can't reach anything. When I stand up to the counter, I'm right against the counter where the dishes are. And this is how far I can reach right here. I can barely reach that on my tippy toes. Definitely can't get there. I would have to walk all the way around the counter to the backside and get everything. There's a ton of counter space back there. I think they kind of designed this not very smart. Anyhow, that's the way they do these things. Let me move this out of the way. But anyhow, so all those spices, what I would like to do, is build shelves in there that space over the uh console center um so i'm gonna put shelves across here four shelves with a little lip so i could put things in there and we have an earthquake or something it won't fall out but i can put all my spices in there everything which will be perfect and easy to get to. So, um, because I don't, don't plan to move this fifth wheel anywhere. So I think it's just going to be stationary. If I ever did have to travel with it or something, I could still do that if I had sh little lips on the shelf so nothing will fall off. So that's the plan for that. As you know, I'm planning on making curtains, and I showed the fabric I'm going to use, where I have all these windows covered with reflectors to keep the heat out, but they're pretty ugly. 
so I had to take all those um, blinds off because the strings were breaking and what everything was breaking as I'm trying to move and put pull them up and down. I have to climb over the furniture to, to get to do them. So I'm just going to make gathered curtains for all those windows. I have 15 windows in here. So that's planned for that. This is over by, the, over by the front door. I had room for one chair and my portable air conditioner in there. So, of course, I'm going to get curtains in there. Um, there's very little space left to put, do anything with that. I would like to put a bookshelf on that wall right there by the door. A little bookshelf and then get rid of all that garbage stuff down there. I have to find a place to put it. I still have tons of storage, just can't reach it. So this is the lagoon table I bought for the RV. I had to make room for some kind of a desk because I had to take the other one out. Didn't have room for it once I put it in the portable air conditioner. These are the dimensions of the new table parts. They have an instruction manual, which is always crappy. I'm not getting paid for doing this review. I just really like the table. But I will have the link in the description. If you use that link, it'll help me out because it will give me a small commission. And it doesn't cost you anything extra. There are a lot of different ways you can adjust it. So... I thought I shared that little clip there from, it's all from Amazon uh, website showing the different things they have about that. They have after sales service and a very good uh, review. So this is a leg and this is the arm coming off the leg there. And this is what I hooked my table up to. That's a backing plate for the leg. So, so my plan is put it on the wall next to the couch. The problem is the couch is bolted to the, to the floor. I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to get the bottom screwed into the wall there by the floor. This is a uh, slide out. So I can't go too deep. Just have to go just deep enough to hold the board. And then I'll think I'll be fine. I tried to do it over here. On that part of the slide up. But I couldn't get the table to come this way. So we'll see. If it works, it will be great. So in the truck, I had this extra board. About the size of a cutting board, a little bit bigger, but it's okay. A little bigger is good for me. So I decided to put it in the RV. And I can also put a one of those wall clips in the truck. So if I, when I'm traveling, I can take my desk with me. So this is going to be my desk. So this is the back side of my table. I have already pre-drilled the holes for the plate. So I'm going to try to do this one-handed, which I'm really bad at, but I think maybe because I already have the holes pre-drilled, I might be able to do it. Okay, we're going to see if I can do this. I tried to set up the mini tripod that uh, Tanya bought me. So I, I'm going to see. I had to turn it around, but let's see if I can do it. If I get, I'm glad I already started the holes because I'm, my eyes are so bad. <laughs> so, okay, let's see. Here's the first one. If I can get this started, then I'll be good. Okay, let's Because this has to go on first. Then I have it all ready. Yeah, it's going to nice and smooth, and I think it's pretty tight. Feels like it. Let's see. Uh -huh. There we go. Let's see if we can 
because this one is so hard for me to do videos by myself if I don't have anybody helping, but it is what it is, people. Okay, that's a good, good and sturdy. That's really good and solid. So that's on. I'll put that out of the way. So, so those two are done, but these two have to be done up here. So what I want to do is get up here. So this 2x4, I cut it at 24 inches and then painted it and pre-drilled the holes, some of them. I have to have it on the wall because otherwise the leg would be too close to the wall and it will not rotate. So I have to have this heavy bracket also gives it, gives it stability on the wall when I put the leg on. So this is what I was doing here. I was working on this at midnight. I couldn't make noise outside because of my neighbor, so I had to work inside. It's a mess. I'm going to have to vacuum up the mess. Here I'm using a larger drill bit to do the insets because I don't have an inset driver bit. So I have to first do the small bit and then take a bigger bit and just have to drill inset hole because I don't want the screw sticking out because I go oh good push it in so far in the wall. So lagoon tables are typically typically made to set up against a bench seat where there's nothing behind it above eighteen inch or twenty inches high. So in order to have this on flush against the wall I have to have the board, and then when I put the plate that holds the leg, I'm going to have to have that in already because where the couch is, I cannot get in there to screw that on. So that's kind of the way it's working. The first thing I'm going to show you is the bottom one. So this is the wall that I want to put it on. Let's see if I can show you the wall. You can see this wall here. So you see the little wall with the brown strip. That's where I first tried to put the lagoon table. The problem was it wasn't stable on the end of the slide there. And I don't know, it just didn't work out. I couldn't turn the table and maneuver it for the different angles. I couldn't pull it out without it getting stuck. It was way too close to the wall. So this is what I have to do. So it's hard to get the screws in there because I didn't have long enough screws and something met. Okay. I think I'm ready to go. So I got the lake in. I can raise it up or down either way. I can still come up another inch or down a couple inches, but I have to tighten it after I get it all situated. Okay, there it is. So let's see. We'll go all the way over here. 
pretty much anywhere I want. That's perfect. Look at that. Awesome. I like it to keep it. I can turn this way if I want to have it in front of me. It's still pretty high. So I probably have to lower it. Lower it like that. And do that. Alright, so that's that's my lagoon table, people. Hopefully you like it. I did too pretty pretty good. Hopefully I didn't just bump it. Alright, so there you go. So I can turn it all the way over here. Or I can turn it all the way this way. You go in here. Like this. I can turn it this way if I want. Say I want to just have it right in front of me on the side. So I think that's perfect. I'm pretty happy with it. So there's my little good table. 